Brian and I are doing the review questions for module nine. This is question number eight. If two different atoms are bonded together with a purely covalent bond, what can we say about the electronegativities of the two atoms? So the purely covalent bond means that the electrons are shared equally, right? Mm -hmm. So what, what does that tell you about the electronegativity? Uh, that it's lowered. Excuse me. Look, if the what is electronegativity? It's, like it's the propensity um, of a uh, atom of an element to, to gain electrons, right? But if it's got more electrons, then it's like lowered. Right. So electronegativity electron will. Electron let's electron. imagine I have a central atom with two different atoms on either side. Okay. Okay. What if they have different electronegativity? Will they pull the same on the central atom? No. No. And so you'll have a polar covalent bond, right? right. But let's imagine that even if they're different atoms, they have the same electronegativity. Not every single element has a different negativity, that electronegativity than the others, right? Uh -huh. <clears throat> because it decreases as you go down and increases as you go to the right. So it it can vary. So Depending on the electronegativity, okay, that will tell you whether the bond is in fact purely covalent or polar covalent. You can't always tell just by looking at the structure. Okay, you have to look at the electronegativity of the atoms involved. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So if they are going to be purely covalent, the electronegativities have to be the same. Yeah. So number nine, please. Oil and water do not mix is a popular phrase used to explain why very different people tend to not get along. Why do oil and water not mix? Mm -hmm. uh, well, we discovered in our experiments, right, that oil is a covalent compound that is uh, not polar, right? It's a purely, purely covalent, whereas water is polar covalent, mm -hmm. okay? So a polar covalent item will dissolve ionic and other polar covalent items in it, right? Mm -hmm. How about oil? Water is, uh, I mean, oil is... Uh, yeah, it doesn't huge. dissolve things it's in it. Covalent. Stuff doesn't dissolve in purely covalent uh, liquids. So, not a solvent. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the, the final question, final review question for module 11. Now, what, what am I talking about? Module 9. Color? I'm leaping ahead, leaps and bounds. What? We're still in module 9. My favorite color what is green. Is your question? Would you please tell us? Why does soap 10? help wash away stains that water cannot wash mm -hmm. away by itself? So, water, as we said, is a solvent, right? But how is soap different? Uh, soap is purely covalent. Soap has really big molecules. And what are they? On one end, they are... Uh, no, it depends on the soap. No, on one end... They're purely covalent? No, on one end, yes, they're purely covalent. And on the other end, sorry, I was they're looking for ionic. Covalent. They're ionic on one end and purely covalent on the other end. Okay? Mm -hmm. So they're attracted both to the water... And to the dirty stuff. And the purely covalent molecules that make up the stain. Yes. Okay. So that's it for module nine.